Hello, welcome to Monday. Hooray! How is everyone excited about the week? I tell you, it's uh, been a tumultuous time in my life, as many of you already know. Not going to get into the details of it today because I'm focused on good things that are coming up. And I just wanted to, to pull some cards this week. Actually, my morning started pretty fast. I slept in, which was nice. But yeah, I didn't have time to pull my usual cards. And I thought, well, I, I'll pull some for me personally off camera. But I thought it would be a nice little tradition. And I know I've tried to do it before. But, you know, life, we just have to honor what's going on. So I thought I would pull some cards for the energy of the week and you know and just see what comes up so i have my light seers tarot so i'm going to pull a few cards from that and then i'm going to pull one card from the work your light just to bring in some what kind of energy we need to work our light and then we're going to call on the angels and get some angel prayers going so and I'm just pulling these for everyone who watches. So if you're watching this as a replay, let me know in the comments if any of this re resonates with you. So for now, I believe I'm going to be pulling three cards from the Light Seers Tarot just for the energy that's coming up this week. This may or may not resonate with you, and that's totally okay because it's not always going to pertain to every single person but whatever messages you get from it is just perfect so three cards let's see what comes up sometimes it takes a little bit to get things going all right so i'm gonna just cut the deck that feels right today so one card two card three card let's see first card that comes up the knight of wands all right, so with the Knight of Wands, it's you know, wands are all about action, or knights are all about action. You know, wands are a lot of fire energy, so it's really, it's about, and then just going with the images here, it's about, you know, following the rhythm, beating your own drum, follow the rhythm, and, you know, have a little bit of creativity and flow and spontaneity in your life and nights also bring in swiftness too so allowing that like if life gets really busy this week it's a good opportunity for you to find a minute in your day or your week to just bring in the fire of your passions you know what lights you up what creativity do you have that is going to allow you hi renee that's going to allow you to really ignite your passions for this week because i feel it's all about having that balance and allowing unleashing that beautiful energy that you have so that's the first card for the week let's see what else we have Ooh, I don't like this card, <laughs> you know, especially in this deck. It's scary. I mean, just look at it. She is in excruciating pain. Hi, Susan. So with this one here, on initial reaction, it's like, ooh, yeesh. But it's also a heads up that, you know, heart energy and feelings can be a bit raw. So when you know that ahead of time, you can fortify yourself and shield yourself. Hi, Alana. And so it's not saying this is going to come to fruition. It's saying this is possible, but you have now been forewarned to be allowed to, to shield. And the best way to shield is to open your heart and to allow that energy to expand. And it gives you the opportunity to just work from the heart for you know begin with for others i find that when you're extending help to others it helps to fortify your energy too so more fortifying than to shield shielding can sometimes sound like protection which means you know you you have to be on the offensive um or the defensive so uh, but with this card here it's really a forewarning and it's allowing you 
to be in your authentic truth. So, you know, the energy of this Wands card that came up first, really allowing you to have that spontaneity and fun in your life um, because sometimes the energy might be a bit intense. So this one here can... Sorry, I got cords all over the place. This one here, it's really telling you to to go with your passions because when this energy comes in, it won't be as intense. So the last card for the Lightseer's uh, Tarot is the Six of Wands. It's okay to be in the limelight, to allow yourself to stand out because there's always somebody who's going to learn from what you have to impart and share. And it's giving yourself that that strength. So yeah, we've got a couple of wand cards here. So, you know, fire energy and, th you know, things to do with um, maybe work and career as well. Using the tools that you have that allow you to say, hey, I'm here. I am authentically myself. And no matter what comes in, I need more hands. <laughs> when this happens... When you're working with this energy more, this will dissipate. It won't be as excruciating. So I hope that makes sense. And now I'm going to pull a Work Your Light card to just bring in some beautiful energy that's going to, to help soften this week for you. So let's see what comes up. Let's work our light. What do we have to work our light today? Cards are slow to speak to me today. And that's okay. That's the way it is. It's either that or 90 of them want to come. I always pick the, pick the number 90. All right. The ever unfolding rose. Yes. Beautiful. Cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Ooh, I really feel that that this energy, you know, especially in my personal world right now, there's been a lot of this going on. So to know that the energy is unfolding and shifting and allowing change to happen. Change isn't always comfortable, but the end result can be. So it's up to you in how you work your light. <laughs> I love this deck so much. There's so much beautiful energy to it. And there's always shifts and changes, just like, you know, an unfolding rose. You know, you see it in, if you take a picture, you see it in one aspect and you wait a few seconds or an hour and you see it, you know, in another aspect and it's always unfolding and being ever unfolding just means that you're always opening up to energy. You're always allowing it to come in. Okay. Now let's work, use our angel prayers to see what kind of angelic energy we can bring to this week as well. Ooh, wow, three cards flipped out. You can't ignore the flippers. So interesting, connect with music. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me through music. What's the first card I pulled? A drum. It can be whatever you like. So music, for me at least, is very emotional like I can listen to things that I haven't heard in years and it well it brings up memories or it brings up emotions and find something that supports what emotion you want to impart the emotion that you want to have surrounding you so if you're feeling a little melancholy and sad you don't want to listen to that kind of music you want to listen to something that's a little more upbeat and so on and the other card that came through is New Beginning. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. And holy moly, that's been my world. But it, it's also allowing it to see things, see, to see change from a different perspective, right? You know, going back to this Three of Swords card, you know, there's change going on here. And it looks super uncomfortable. But if you invite it in, if you allow your heart to expand and invite that energy in, it can be a really positive thing. And calling on your guides and the angels to assist you. It's so important to know that you are not alone. Okay. And then the third card 
beautiful for this week. Take time to breathe. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease, knowing you're here. And breathing is lungs, right? Lung is in the heart chakra area. So again, it's allowing that expansion to take place and giving yourself the give yourself the opportunity to be your highest vibrational self and it's easier to do when you've had a little break and you've given yourself that time whether it's time away from where you always are or whether it's just allowing yourself to let go of the things you have to think about you know if you're at work and you're always in the analytical mind you've got to take a break from it you know it's like when i used to work in the land title office many many moons ago we uh we were had to take mandatory uh computer breaks eye breaks from the computer and that's just like anything you know you do anything for too long you need a break from it even things that are fun shift it up move the energy around this week it's so important for you to stay high vibrational in order for this coming season that that's changing the full moon is starting to creep up it's it'll be here for next week so it's important to uh, know that the energy is fulfilling again and always having an outlet to release and to ground so that's it for today hi sabrina you'll have to catch the replay on the cards that i pulled and um, thanks for being here have a wonderful week and I'll see you for Wellness Wednesday. Peace.